Hey guys, my name is Karina and welcome to this video review of new amazing feature of SM Light SLZB O6 coordinators. If you deal with smart homes, most probably you know and already love any out of SLZB O6 family coordinators for their powerful dig dig capabilities. But what if I told you this small device could do even more? Brace yourself guys, because the SLZB O6 is about to level up for the revolutionary power of third networks. With this new feature, SLZB O6 become a ZigBee, Bluetooth and now a thread coordinator. And each of these modes works over Ethernet with FOIA or over Wi-Fi or over USB. So it's basically, it's literally become a truly universal and all-supported smart home adapter. In this video, I will be showing you how to pair and connect a Meta device over a third network directly to your home assistant server using an SLZB 6 coordinator with third support. We will be using a Raspberry Pi 4 running home assistant and SLZB 6 coordinator and the magic of open third border router and Meta add-ons for home assistant. By the end of this video, you will have your Matter device seamlessly integrated with your smart home assistant. So, let's get started! Before we jump in, here's what we have on hand for our test of Matter over thread with SLZB 6 A server with home assistant installed and running. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 with a clean, fresh installed home assistant OC version 2024-33 an SLZB 6 coordinator flashed with open thread booter router firmware. The matter device we want to connect for this tutorial I will be using the EV Energy AU Soft and Android smartphone. Few remarks you need to know. First, you need to install open thread firmware on your coordinator. Please refer to the device manual for support. My device is already flashed with thread firmware. Second, Thread firmware for some coordinators is an experimental mode. You will see respective notice on each particular coordinator, if any. So use it on your own. And third, at that time of this video, Home Assistant add-on for open thread works only with a USB connection. So in this guide I will use USB. However, we are working on the implementation of the Ethernet connection. Let's set up the Meta integration and Meta server as on. Navigate to the setting, device and services, click on add integration and search for Meta and click on it. A new window will pop up. Leave the option use the official Meta server supervisor add-on, checked and click submit. The add-on installation will start. In my case, with Raspberry Pi 4, it took around 3 minutes for installation and uh, add-on setup. When the installation is finished, the window success pops up. Just click Finish to close it. That's it, Matter is already installed. Now we need to install the Open Thread Border Router add-on in Home Assistant. Hit over the settings and choose Ads On. Navigate to the Add-on Store and search for Open Thread. Click on Open Thread Border Router. Click Install and wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is complete, go to the Configuration tab. You need to adjust the following settings. Device. Choose the serial port of your device. Board rate. In my case, it should be 460K. The setting depends on firmware settings. Hardware flow control. Set it to off. Automatic flash firmware. Set it to off. OTBR firewall, set it to off. NET64, set it to off. Save the settings by clicking Save. Navigate to the Info tab of the Add-on. Now you can start your Add-on, just click Start. I also recommended activating Watchdog, which will allow the Add-on restart in case of an error. You can check the logs. They should say that the Add-on start. The line successfully send discover information to Home Assistant. Confirm this. Now let's set up thread integration. Navigate to Settings, Device and Services. Here you should see two new integrations Open Thread Border Router and Thread. If you do not see them, add them via Add Integration button. There is nothing to do for Open Thread Border Router integration, so just leave it as is. 
In the thread integration, we have to create a thread network. Click on the thread integration. Click Configure. Click three dots under Open Thread Border Router and click on Add to Preferred Network. Now, our Open Thread Border Router moved to Preferred Network place. Let's click again on three dots. Choose Use Router for Android plus iOS Traditionals. After that, icon with the key should appear next to the preferred thread network name. Please note, during our test, sometimes this preferred network setup is done automatically by Home Assistant and you don't need to do this last few steps. Basically, that all setups for Home Assistant. Now let's move to the Android phone. Please note, we were not able to install Matter over thread device using iPhone. We did it only with Android phone. First, activate Bluetooth on your phone. Bluetooth is used by app for initial connecting to Matter device and sharing the Matter traditionals. Next, we need to have installed Home Assistant app. Let's install it. Go to Google Play, search for Home Assistant app and install it. Sometimes, adding Matter over thread device requires Google Home app for initial pairing. So, let's install Google Home app as well. The same as with Home Assistant app, search for it in a Play Store and install. Now we need to sync Meta traditionals between the phone and Home Assistant. To do that, go to Settings, go to Companion app, scroll down and click on Troubleshooting. Here click Sign Suite and Traditionals. A message, Edit network from Home Assistant to this device should pop up in a while. Here we got the message. However, that is not it the one that we need to see. We should get another message, which is Edit Network from Home Assistant to this device. So, let's click Sign Thread Traditionals again and wait until this require message pops up. Ok, here we are. Once you get Home Assistant and this device, use the same network. You are ready to add your first matter over thread device to Home Assistant via SLZB 6 Open the Home Assistant app and navigate to Settings, Device and Services, Device tab. Click the button Add Device and select Add Matter Device. Click on Open Camera here. Point QR Reader to the QR code on your matter over thread device. Pairing will start automatically. In my case, it took about 30 seconds and the process pays through the following steps. Connecting to device, generating matter traditionals, Checking network connectivity, connecting device to home assistant, and a confirmation about successful pairing. It says device connected. A device page will immediately pop up on your phone, and you can start controlling your matter over thread device using SLZB06 as thread router. Once the pairing is complete, head back to the home assistant interface on your PC. Navigate to Settings, Device and Services. Click on Device tab and you should see your EV Energy soft listed under the Device section. You can also navigate to Settings, Device and Services and click on Devices under the Meta Bed integration. Click on the device to access its control. You should be able to turn the soft on and off remotely using the Home Assistant interface. You see also here all exposed data from this device. You can also explore creating automations for setting up custom dashboards to integrate your Meta device with other smartphone functionalities. Let's make a quick test on controlling the smart sock. As you see, we can easily control now our Meta device in Home Assistant over SLZB 06 and thread integration and add-on. If you encounter any issues during the pairing process, double check that Bluetooth is enabled on your phone and that your device in pairing mode. You can refer to the Home Assistant documentation for Matter and Thread for more troubleshooting steps. And there you have it! You have just connected your Matter device directly to Home Assistant using your SLZB 06 coordinator with the Thread firmware. This is a game to link forward for smart home control with SLZB 06. Secure, reliable and feature-proof. So, as you see, now your SLZB06 can work not only as a key coordinator of Bluetooth Hub, but also as a thread border router with your home assistant. And each of these functionalities works over Ethernet, 
Wi-Fi, FOIA and USB. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach me out. By the way, for those of you who are still expanding your DB network, I have some exciting news. SM Light recently launched two new DB coordinators, the SLZB 06 P10 and SLZB 07 P10. Here's 06 P10 in my hands. These new coordinators offer a powerful way to connect your DB device to your smart home system. I also made a text version of this tutorial. The link is posted in the description to this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this tutorial and if you want to see me and my tutorials further, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.